Hi, I'm Praveen and today we are going to see how we can use a global SCSS file anywhere in a Vue project. So I've created a project here called Vue University using the Webpack simple template using Vue CLI, uh, like so. And I have, I have gone ahead and created a bunch of uh, files in our application. So uh, first of them would be the SCSS directory and within that the colors.scss file. Now this is going to contain the color variables that we want to use in our project. The next is this common directory where I have created this alert component which is one level down from source and it's a pretty simple component. We have an alert here, a bunch of CSS to make it look green, all green. And, and then we have this admin folder where we have a components directory inside it and inside that we have admin.view which is another div saying restricted and it's probably red in color. So let's go ahead and run this app and we are going to do that by using yarn run dev. You can use npm. So we are here and you can see that everything's good. Uh, the admin section has been loaded and the alert component has loaded. But now if you come back and take a look at the CSS, we'll see there's a problem. And the problem is that in alerts component, we are referring to colors using this path, which is going one level up, looking for SCSS directory and fetching colors. But in admin, since it is two level down, we are having to go two levels up to figure that file out. Now, as your project grows, this is going to be a problem and annoying to figure out the relative path from any component or any other file to your colors file. But I think we can do better. So we are going to go to Webpack and we are going to create an alias for our styles directory. Uh, the way we do it is by saying styles. And this could be anything. It doesn't have to match your directory name. And then we are going to use something called path.resolve. Now path.resolve basically creates an absolute path to a directory. By default, all the paths that we give an alias going to, are going to start from node modules directory. But here we want to start from our project root and go to colors, uh, go up to the SCSS directory. So I'm going to say path.resolve and then dir name, which basically points to the project root. And then we are going to say, we are going to give a relative path, which is dot slash, which is source, and then SCSS directory. So now we have this alias. What we really need to do is go back to our input declaration and then we can change it to styles, so colors, and we can do the same for our admin component. Styles, colors. And if you come back, also we need to restart our app. So that should work. 